Here's a play that happened in Game 2 of the 2018 playoffs. Off a curl, Jalen Brown sets up Aaron Baines beautifully, and he almost put Joel Embiid on a poster here. And look how he kinda rubs it in Embiid's face by hanging a little longer on the rim. Well, it appears that Embiid didn't forget what Baines did to him on that play, and in Game 3, <laughs> Embiid got his revenge by doing the same exact thing that Baines did. But this time, though, he finished him off for good. Man, Embiid wrapped him up in a body bag right there. And even if Baines had already switched teams, Embiid still haunts him because of that one single play. Though we know Embiid as this pure comedy guy who likes to have fun by trolling people on Twitter or on the court. It's a totally different thing if you try to piss him off or talk smack to him, because 99% of the time, he'll definitely be out for blood just to get even. And with that said, here's what happens if you disrespect Joel Embiid. On the night of December 16, 2021, the Nets got a big win over the 76ers, 114-105. And just before the game ended, Kevin Durant had some parting words to Embiid to rub it in his face a little bit more. Now, two weeks later, both teams met once again at the Nets' home floor, but this time around, the result was different as Embiid got his revenge by destroying them through four quarters. Embiid finished the game with a monster stat line of 34 points, 7 assists, 1 rebound, 3 steals, and 1 block while shooting 47% from the field and 60% from 3. And just like what happened in their first encounter, things got chippy between the two, but this time, it was Joel's turn to say a few words. Did the last time these two teams met. Philadelphia 110. Now aside from KD, his teammate Nick Claxton also shot his shot with Embiid this season by getting in his grill while saying some sweet nothings. And as expected, it didn't turn out well for this dude, cause Embiid just literally ate him alive. Have him now, and it was a, one of the best pickups of the offseason. Embiid in the lane gets the bounce and one. Embiid went off that game with a double-double of 26 points and 10 rebounds along with three assists which is all courtesy of Claxton's loud mouth. And speaking of loud mouths, Russell Westbrook also had some heated exchanges with Embiid some years back, and one of them was when he trolled him by doing this. Adams, he's fouled out of the game. 51 minutes. Embiid, sir. Russell Westbrook now waving. Though Brody had all the reason to taunt him, because they won that hard-fought game in Triple OT, I think he didn't get the memo that Embiid isn't the type of person who'll just let this one slip by. And in the next game, Embiid did exactly what he was supposed to do and had his revenge by murdering Westbrook with this dunk. Now, the animosity between Brody and Embiid didn't fizzle out just yet, and in their next matchup, Embiid flexed his guns as he dominated OKC once more. He ended up with 31, 8, and 6 in that game to show Westbrook that he's not the type of guy who you should mess with. And when Brody was asked if he's cool with Embiid, he was like, You know what I'm saying? But it's okay. You guys are cool? No way. <laughs> Anyways, here's another guy who tried to push the buttons of Embiid, but backfired quickly. I mean, Trez was obviously trying to get under Embiid's skin with that incident and was hoping that he'll lose his cool so that he'll be thrown out. However, that didn't happen. And instead, here's what happened in the very next possession. Too strong. MB the offensive rebound. And the putback. Trez was actually the one who got kicked out of the court after shoving Embiid. And without Harrell on the court, Embiid continued his rampage against the Wizards. Because there was literally nobody alive there that could stop him. Contracts are signed. There's no more money to be made other than incentives. Whether you get a bonus. When the final buzzer had gone off, Embiid had 36 points and 13 rebounds, along with two blocks, and he also shot above 70% from the field and 40% from three to cap off his complete dominance as the 76ers won 117-96. Now, as intense as that scuffle was, it was nothing when you compare it to what happened between Embiid and Cat in this next play. And the shoving turned into this. I mean, both teams literally cleared their benches just to separate those two clashing bulls, and this actually happened just on the third game of the 2019 season. So you'll know that there's going to be some fireworks when these two behemoths collide when they see each other on the floor. Embiid eventually got suspended for two games because of that incident, and in their next matchup, which happened on April 3rd, 2021, Embiid never forgot what Cat did to him, 
and he just laid out the rest of the T-Wolves along with him by having another monster game. The T-Wolves had no answer for Embiid as he racked up 24 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists, and 8 blocks to come up with a win for the 76ers, 112-113. Now, if there's one player that loves to get himself into trouble, then it has to be Marcus Morris, and he too tried to trash talk Embiid back in the 2018 playoffs when he did this. There's been some extraordinary trash talk in this one. It's not for everybody, but Joel Embiid saying we're in your head. Marcus Moore saying 3-0, 3-0. <laughs> Though the 76ers lost that series, the beef between the two still continued two years later, and in their February 12th matchup, Morris once again showed his hostile side by provoking Embiid. This just went a little extra, and Morris is nodding. At this point, it seemed like Morris was asking for it. And in the ensuing possession, Embiid finally returned the favor by doing this. Morris to the cup. Do not go in there! Then in their next matchup, Embiid brought down the entire Clippers simply because he had issues with Morris. In that game, Embiid was just feasting on both ends of the floor as he cooked up 40 points, 13 rebounds, and 6 assists along with one steal and block while shooting 60% from the field to show Morris that he can't handle the smoke he was trying to light up. Anyways, aside from the big guys, there were times when the little guys also showed up and tried to test out Embiid, like what Eric Bledsoe did over here. I, I would think so. I don't know how they will make the judgment on that. Bledsoe was immediately ejected after that, and since he had no one to vent out his frustrations on, Embiid just decided to let out his anger in the very next game against the Bucks. Because of the incident with Bledsoe, Embiid was extra fired up for this game as he tallied 31 points, 11 rebounds, and he also racked up 3 assists and 2 blocks to send a strong statement. So what do you guys think of Embiid trash-talking his opponents? Let us know in the comments below. Embiid has been an absolute monster this season, but so is this person you see on the screen here. If you want to see more of just how they're dominating, be sure to click on this next video. Go ahead and click it. It's free.